Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending on the time of day that we may be reaching you. Thank you for joining us once again on the channel. We'd like to say a very big welcome to you all. Now, if you're joining us for the very first time, please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Now, to all of our existing subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way. Thank you and God bless you. Now, on today's report, this one says, I will withdraw from presidential race if this one statement was made by Peter will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. And the Mr. Obi made this statement while he was speaking at the Chatham House um, in London. And according to um, Peter Obi, while he was answering, um, answering questions at the Chatham House, he stated that he would withdraw from the presidential election only if his running mate, um, in the person of Dati Baba Ahmed, he's found to be corrupt. And according to the Labour Party presidential candidate, he said that they could go check records that um, his running mate, Baba Dati Ahmed, is the only one who never compromised his position when he was a member of um, the National Assembly. And uh, like Peter Obi is saying, his running mate is clean and free from every form of accusation that could be used um, against him. And he's saying that only if something is found against his running mate to make him seem corrupt, or if that Baba Ahmed is found in a transactional um, position, that he would actually um, withdraw from the presidential um, race. And they're promising that they will fight corruption and uh, all of that and peter will be saying they can go and check the records same as he also that when he governed um the state for eight years um he was the only governor who actually left um money in bank accounts when he was leaving the seat of um governorship and like he said um, while he was leaving he never owed salaries or pensions or um, any contractor or any of that so we see that Peter B is saying if something can be found against his running mate, if something a corrupt offense or if Baba Ahmed um, can be found in a transactional position, then he will drop out of um, the presidential race. Now, we're going to go into the details um, in full uh, to say, it says, I will withdraw from presidential race if. Now, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi said on Monday, that he would withdraw from the 2023 presidential race if his running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed, is found to be corrupt. Now, Obi, who stated this while answering questions at the Chatham House in London, argued that Baba Ahmed never compromised his position when he was a member of the National Assembly. He said, we will fight corruption. That he has the record of being the only National Assembly member who refused to buy property of the government when it was offered to all members. You can go and look at his record. If you find anywhere he puts himself in a transactional position that he has compromised his position, I will stop running. I have governed a state for eight years go and check the record i have challenged everybody i am the only governor who, till today on the day i left office i was not on salaries or pension or gratuity or any contractor or any supplier and i left money in three banks in nigeria which i say every day assess bank of nigeria fidelity bank of nigeria and Diamond Bank of Nigeria. Nations of our size have done it. How did India with 1.4 billion people cover the issue of health? How did Indonesia cover that? If other nations have done it well, we have to learn from them. There is nothing wrong in learning from them if you do not know how to do it. 
let me assure you that what we have been campaigning on in our campaign, we have heard them say we do not have structure. That is the structure we are trying to destroy. The structure of criminality that Nigeria has been held captive. The structure that has impoverished Nigeria, it will not be there. We will dismantle it. We are going to turn around the power sector. Nigeria generates about 60,000 megawatts of electricity for 200 million people. South Africa is the second biggest in terms of economy. 60,000 million people generate about 50,000 megawatts. And South Africa in the last two to three years has declared a state of emergency in power and said anybody can generate about 100 megawatts without a license. Well, that is it on the details of today's report. And we can see that Spam Peter Obi is saying that the only reason he will step down running from the presidential race 2023 is if his running mate is found to be corrupt. And like Peter Obi is actually saying, and he's beating his chest, saying that if you go check the records, it shows that his running mate is the one one of the persons who never compromised um, his position as a member of um, the National Assembly. And um, Obi said that um, when even the government um, properties were being offered to all National Assembly members um, to buy, Baba Ahmed was one of the people who actually um, refused to actually buy these government um, properties. And um, he's urging Nigerians and people all over the world that they can go and look at his record. They can check his record to see that he is someone who is clean and that he has never put himself in any transactional position that actually compromises his position. And if such a position is found, then he, as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, will actually um, stop running. And we also see um, how that um, Obi is saying that um, the structure of criminality, the structure that has impoverished Nigeria for so long that when they get elected into power, they would make sure that that structure is actually destroyed and dismantled. And it's also promising that they are going to turn around um, the power sector. Um, like he said, we're going to turn around the power um, sector. Well, we do hope that all of these um, promises that have been made by those various um, presidential candidates, they will actually uphold it when they do get elected into um, power. Well, that's all we can take on the details of today's report. Until we'll come your way next time with more news happenings, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.